What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here, and welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved 4 How to Tame, a series where I cover every single tameable dino in Ark Survival Evolved and give you all the information that you need to tame any creature you want. But first, a small a little disclaimer. I am currently on a boosted server. That means my taming rates are really, really high. That means I'm going to tame things a lot faster than a lot of other servers out there. This is for video purposes only. But all the information that I am going to give you mortals can be used on any server whatsoever. But with that out of the way, let's get to what we're going to be taming today. So, this creature was first introduced in Genesis Part 2. It's a really big creature. It's a very unique creature. And they should be running around over here somewhere. Uh, maybe they have flew away because they are capable of gliding. But now, here they are. The mewing or mewing. So this is a level 100. And I'm pretty sure this is based off the duck uh, build platypus. I believe that's how you say it. Um, so they're actually very, very cool. And have a, like a really unique uh, ability, which is very, very cool. So these guys are a knockout tame, but as soon as you hit one of these guys, these will automatically run and they can jump high and glide really fast and really far. So you're going to have to keep that in mind when trying to tame these guys. So I would recommend trying to get them into a trap like the one down there or maybe a better one. Maybe when they're stood still like this, you try and just build around it and trap it in a certain location so you can get to it without it flying off and so other wild dinos cannot come and attack it. So what are you going to need in order to tame this guy? What is its favorite food? Well, its favorite food food if we look in my inventory is just the basic kibbles nothing fancy about it whatsoever in order to make this you are going to need 10 ammo berries one cooked meat cooked fish meat or cooked meat jerky one extra small egg five fiber five medjo berries and 10 tinto berries now, if you don't know what extra small eggs are you get them from like the dillos the dodos the feather lights uh the vultures they're like the size of eggs that you need they're like the, the smallest eggs that you can get on arcs of our will uh tame will go into making this kibble so this is either gonna go very very good mortals or very very bad i am gonna go for the level 100 one just straight off to see uh how it jumps and how it flies just give you like a visual representation of what is going to happen if you do it my way. So there is a big cliff there where it could just, just fly off. So this is the level 100, I believe. I'm going to try and go in front of it and just shoot it in the face right here. Um, but my gun is so superior that it knocked out <laughs> in one. That's fantastic. So, if you're wondering why I knocked it out, just look at this weapon. It's got 754.2% uh, weapon damage, which is very, very nice. Plus, these shocking tranquilized darts just make this weapon super overpowered. That is why I can do this. <laughs> so, once it is down, we can just put some of its kibble on its body and boom, it tamed wow that tamed really quick very very nice so obviously you can get a saddle for these guys let's just go and quickly knock out the one so headshot makes it go down we'll put some kibble on it so even though this was introduced 
in Genesis Part 2. These are not the only map you can get these on. You can get these on Lost Island and the Fjordor map as well, which is very, very cool. But like I said, these guys have a unique ability, which is very, very cool. So the mewing uh, lays eggs at random quantity uh, and at random times. So it can produce more than one egg and there's no like set time for it to lay an egg. It They'll just poop them out randomly. Even if you put like an overraptor next to them, so it speeds up their uh, egg pooing ability it will not affect these guys whatsoever they'll just keep pooping them randomly when picked up the egg will state its quality it is um so when i mean like the quality of the egg you got the you got extra small small medium large extra large and then you got the specials which will go for basic, simple, regular, superior, exceptional, and extraordinary. They're like the categories of these eggs. Uh, so when you make the kibble, they'll they literally have these on it. So over there, you got the regular kibble. I've also got exceptional kibble on me and the basic kibble. So they're the eggs that go into there. So like I said before, the extra small uh, eggs go into the basic kibble. And then you've got the small eggs that go into the simple. you got medium eggs that go into the regular and so on and so forth. It's like that. And <clears throat> each egg has a certain percentage it will drop. I've even got these percentages for you, even though you might have the service ends a bit adjusted this is going to give you a rough idea of how they're going to poop out eggs so the extra small eggs have the highest chance to be pooped out which is 35 percent then it goes to 25 percent for small eggs 17.5 percent for medium eggs 12.5 percent for large eggs 7.5 percent for extra large eggs and 2.5 percent for the special eggs so yeah, this is an egg making machine and these are the guys you're going to need if you really tend to make a lot of this kibble and try and just get perfect tames. I would recommend getting one of these guys. They're really, really cool. And they also have some other cool abilities What I'm not going to go into. It's just that because of its kibble making uh, uh, attribute, it's actually really good to have one of these. Ball mortals, that is all, for, all the information that you need in order to tame one of these guys. So, I hope you found these helpful. I do keep a couple of these for egg making purposes. I hope you will now too. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll hopefully see you mortals in the next video.